Who's that girl? Who's that girl? Okay, let's go. Welcome to my channel, I'm Rutenda May and today I'm giving you guys a video on how I do my natural everyday type of makeup so stay tuned if you want to know how I do it and make sure that you like, share, comment, subscribe and hit the, 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 the notification bell so you can be notified every single time that I post without further ado let's get into it I'm starting off with priming my face with the Ordinary High Adherence Silicone Primer and this primer is really really good, it gives your face a nice glow even after you put on the makeup. So I'm rubbing that in and I'm topping it off with Ellipse Labs Hydrating Primer and I'm rubbing that, rubbing that into my face as well to make sure that I've got a nice working area. And then I'm going to go into my eyebrows and I'm starting to fill them in from where the arch is, uh, ideally where I want the arch is, but that's where it kind of is on my eyebrows already. So I'm filling them in, going backwards, doing backward strokes, and I'm just going to fill them in like that. And then I'm going to make sure that as I go towards the front of the eyebrow, I don't press as hard and I leave a little gap so it has that ombre effect kind of. And then to conceal, I'm using LA Progo Concealer and Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me, going in at the arch, and I'm going to conceal that to clean up my eyebrow and giving myself the perfect arch that I need. Now I'm making sure to go slow as slow as I can because you know you don't want to mess it up. And then I'm going at the front of the eyebrow and filling it in. Just going back like that, doing the backward strokes as well. And then I'm going to drag the concealer down to my eyelid. And I'm going to do the same for the other eyebrow. Once I've done that, I'm taking my Ella Proker concealer and uh, starting to conceal the top of my brow. And again, I'm starting at the point where the arch is and I'm bringing the concealer down down to the end of my brow to the tail and then i'm gonna grab my foundation brush and then clean up my brows once i finish my brows i'm taking my loose powder and i'm gonna put it all over my face and i'm making sure that i'm concentrating on the oily parts of my face as well and then I'm going to take my setting spray and spray that all over my face. And after that, I'm taking uh, my color corrector and I'm just putting it on my face where I know I've got like black spots that need to be covered up. And then I'm going to go in with a brush and blend that in. After that, I'm taking my Maybelline Fit Me foundation and I'm going to spread that across my face. And then I'm taking my damp beauty blender and blending it into my skin, making sure that I'm blending it evenly and I'm dabbing, not swiping. Always dab, not swipe. Then I'm taking my buffing brush and I'm using that to go over my face as usual and making sure that I'm taking it down to my ears and to my neck because you don't want to have those unblended lines. So then I'm going to take my foundation stick from Revolution in colour F15 and I'm just putting it on my jawline and my forehead and then I'm taking my buffing brush and blending that in. I'm taking my L'Oreal Paris concealer in the colour Pika and I'm dotting some in the inner corner of my eyes and then I'm taking my Maybelline Fit Me concealer in shade 40 and then I'm going to 
put some underneath my eyes and i'm putting a lot more of this than i did the infallible one and then i'm just gonna make sure that i put some of my underneath my eyes my nose bridge my chin the top of my lip and a little bit on my forehead Of blended in the concealer, I'm taking my foundation stick again in color for F15 and then I'm placing it um the higher point of my cheekbones um, on my nose and then I'm putting some on my nose tip as well and then I'm gonna put a little bit on my forehead and a little bit on my jawline. Then I'm gonna take my contour brush from Real Techniques and I'm gonna blend that in and I'm blending upwards when I'm blending my cheeks in and then my forehead I'm going to blend backwards so into my hairline and then my jawline I'm going to do circular motions and then when I'm doing the nose I'm going to pinch the brush and make sure to swipe and blend that in properly. After that, I'm taking my concealer again, the Maybelline Fit Me one, and then I'm going to go underneath my eyes, my nose and my cheeks. And then I'm taking my Fire Revolution palette and I'm using the colours Ashes and Burn for my eyeshadow. And I'm just going to blend them in the top part of my eyelid, basically. I'm going to take my bronzer and blend some in right underneath my brow to just kind of bring everything in together because I felt it was standing out too much. Now I'm going to take my loose powder and put some underneath my eyes and my nose bridge, my top lip, my chin. Basically everywhere that I put the highlighting concealer on besides my forehead. And then I'm going to take my bronzer and just clean my face off.
now i'm going to take my vintage lace um intense metallic cream powder highlighter from revolution and i'm gonna smile and put some at the basically the highest point of the cheekbone when i smile then i'm gonna go in and blend that in and i'm taking my uh buffing brush as well and i'm just gonna go over it to make sure that i smooth everything over and i'm also putting some highlight underneath my eyebrows to just give it you know a little bit of a pop Now I'm just gonna go and spray my face for the last time. And now I sprayed my face like I don't know how many times, but yeah, this is it. I'm just gonna go ahead and do my hair and I'll be back. So yeah, this is the final look guys don't forget to like comment share subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified every single time that i post and follow me on my snapchat twitter and instagram everything is in the description box down below and see you next time bye